this video I'm going to talk about navigating between views. I've got the basic view navigator application here, my root page two views, home and two, and what I've done is I've added some action content. I've added one button to the top right of the screen. It's going to say exit on it. When I click on it, it's going to call the command to exit from the application. So this right now is inside of the home view. See my root tag here says view. If I go on to page two, it's not there. I have a button and a label. I've got the layout tag, but there's no action content. This isn't there. In my root tag, there's a script tag, but no action content there. So let's run this. And here's my application. So on the home page, here's my action bar. There is the button for exit. I click that, I'm gone. Restart it. Here's my application. If I go to page two, the exit button is not there. So I can go back, I can go back and forth between the two of them. But the exit button only exists on the home page. So let's cut that out of there and put it in the root tag or the root file inside the view navigator application. Right there. There is our action content. Now this is going to be automatically applied to all the views. So save everything, run it again. And now as we jump back and forth, you see the exit button is there regardless of the page that we're on. So in the home view, we're calling navigator push view views.2. This is going to take me to the page called 2.mxml inside the views package. Over here, I'm calling the function go back, which really is just this one line of code, navigator pop to first view. So as an alternative to that, we could just say pop view. This goes back one page in the view stack. So go to, now this is going back. Pop view takes us back to here. So we're adding page two onto the view stack and we're removing page two from the view stack. And that's it.